Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how you can make a simple counter using flow code. The hardware we've got is a BL011 PIC programmer. That's the device we're going to program. It's a 16-bit PIC. The inputs and outputs are presented on these connectors. I've got a combo board here which has a combination of all sorts of switches and displays. And what we're going to do is we're going to program these eight LEDs on port B to show our counter. So we'll just put that to one side for the moment. This is our flow code workspace. The first thing we do is we add a LED array to the workspace and we're going to connect that to port B. Now if we want to counter what we have to do is we have to set up a variable. So this is our variable space and what we're going to do is we're going to add a variable and we're going to call it count and we're going to give it an initial value of zero. In programming there are lots of different types of variables and the reason why there are lots of different types is that each one occupies a different amount of memory and can have different mathematical operations applied to it. In this case, we're going to have a value, a variable of type byte. And a byte uses just one um, byte of memory or eight bits to represent the variable. And so the value of the variable can vary between zero and 255. So we're going to use type byte as our variable. What we then do is we are going to um, set up a loop for our counter. And when we have a loop, there is an expression, and that could be as the temperature is less than a certain value or a count is um, less than a certain value. But in this case, our expression is just one. Now, one is always true in computer programming parlance. So basically, that means the loop will run forever. Into that loop, we are going to drag an output icon. And we're going to say that port B is equal to count. And what we're then going to do is we're going to use a calculation icon to say count equals count plus one. And these chips run incredibly quickly, so we need to slow it down a bit so we can see it. So we're going to have a delay of, say, uh, 250 microseconds, milliseconds rather. So loop forever, output the value of count to port B, increment the value of count, wait for 250 milliseconds and loop again. And what we can do is we can simulate that program. And you can use the simulation debugger just to slow the simulation down a bit more. So you can see the pins on the chips and you can see the counter uh, and you can see that change. What I can then do is I can compile that to my chip. And if we've built that right, then what you should see in a minute is you should see these LEDs uh, flashing. So now you can see we have a counter on these LEDs. Now this is counting in binary. So this right hand LED represents units. The next one represents twos, fours, eights, sixteens and thirty twos. So it will count up to 255 and then it will go back to zero again. So that is our counter program.